26 to 29. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 29. Now please be coming with your Bible. Be coming with the, the printed, the printed Bible. Uh, be coming with a printed Bible. It's important to have it. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 29. The Bible says, Then God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the sky, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over all every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth. Subdue it, and rule over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the sky, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Then God said, Behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is on the surface of the earth, and every, every tree which has fruit yielding seed, it shall be food for you. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the sky, and to everything that moves on the earth which has life, I have given every green plant for food, and it was so. So God saw all that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Let's pray. Blessed Father, in the name of Jesus, this is a blessed thing to be in your presence. It is a blessed thing to hear from you, O oh God Almighty. Father, I pray that you will speak to us according to your presence and according to your word for the glory and for the praise of your name. I set myself, God Almighty, to your grace and to your leading, O oh God Almighty. The Father, in your will and by your spirit, you will speak through me, to me and to your people for the glory and praise of your name. For this is our prayer with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. You may have all your seats in the presence of the Lord. It is a blessing to have you here. Uh, the Bible also says the same, the same scripture in Swahili. The Bible says, "Dipo mungu akasema tu fanya kuto kwa fanya wetu, wa sura yetu, wa katawale juu ya samaki wa bahari ni dandege wa grani juu ya mifugo juu ya dunia yote na juu ya viumbe wote uh, watambao juu ya nchi." Kwa hivyo, kwa hiyo, mungu akamumba mtu kwa mfano wake mwenyewe. Kwa mfano wa mungu, aliwaumba. Wanamume na wanamuke, aliwaumba. Mungu akawabaliki na akawambia, zaeni na muka, muka ungezeke, muka ijaze tena dunia na kuitisha. Mkatawale samaki wa baharini, ndege wa angani, na kila kiumbe haa, Kiumbe hai kiendacho juu ya ardhi kisha Mungu akasema nimewapa kila mche uto, utoao mbegu juu ya uso wa dunia yote na kila mti wenye matunda yenye mbegu ndani yake vitakuwa kwa ajili ya chakula chenye cha wanyama wote wa dunia ndege wote wa angani na viumbe vyote viendavyo juu ya ardhi kila kiumbe chenye pumzi ya uhai nime ninawapa kila mche wa kijani kuwa chakula ikawa hivyo Mungu aka Mungu akatazama vyote aka alivyo viumba na tazama ilikuwa vizuri sana ikawa jioni ikawa asubuhi siku ya sita amen hiyo ndio the reading now we are been talking about scaling the heights that is our that is our team for this for this year, as we announced earlier. Scaling the scaling the heights. 
and we understood what scaling the height is or what it means to scale the height. In Swahili, it's about upanda kiwango kingine. Ama upanda kutoka kiwango moja hadi kingine. Na tukabata kwamba height, uh, we have different heights depending on how far you want to go. But as we can go as far as heaven if you want to, if you want to go. And many places we have they have a motto, Kwamba, sky is the limit. So in terms of height, sky is the is the limit. You may not go past the sky, but sky is the is the limit that God has given in terms of the heights of this earth. Sky is the limit. So when we were talking about scaling the heights, we came to a point where when we live, we are lifted to height. One of the results that happened to us is to have dominion or influence. Wakati umepanda kiwango, wakati umeiguliwa na mungu katika minuko ya dunia, wakati mungu amekuinua katika kiwango, ama uh, katika nyanja ile uko, mungu amekuinua, unakuwa na influence, ama unakuwa na dominion. You are able to lead or unaweza kutawala. Na hapa bibiria, biyo sababu tumekuja sasa kuegeleza kusu utawala Dominion, so our theme today, or our show letu leo ni Influencing our world through kingdom dominion Influencing our world through kingdom dominion I started this the other week, I uh, was able to look at a few things uh, Some definitions of uh, domi dominion uh, the def definition of height, definition, the definition of rule. Uh, 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 we were able to look at that. Today, I want to go to the next, to the next part. But I want to begin with some, with some uh, scriptures that talk about dominion. We were able last time to read from Genesis that I've read again. But look here, the first mandate that God gives to mankind when He created man, the Bible says in verse twenty-eight. God blessed them and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it. Be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, then subdue it and rule. When you subdue, then you are able to rule. When you subdue, it means you are put under. You are over everything. You are in control. That means you are, you are subduing. When you are ruling, it means you are controlling the things that are happening. You are influencing the decisions of the world. So when, when, uh, when I'm talking about us as kingdom, uh, kingdom uh, sons, the sons of the kingdom, I'm looking for people that will make decisions, that will influence policies in the uh, in the county governments, in the in the village that you will be called to make a decision. The, the MC you may be very far away from uh, from the place where your home is, but the MC will always call you and say, uh as Bulani, when I say my usuhi, usuhi about to ufanya. You will have been, you will be making decisions on behalf of the people because God has put you in a place of influence. So God expects us, the first mandate, or the mandate that God gave mankind when he created mankind was the, the mandate to rule, the mandate to dominate, the mandate to influence everything that happens around, around mankind. And then the other thing, the Bible talked about I have given you the plants for food, and I have given you the animals for the animals for to rule over, to rule over. And then in Genesis chapter nine, I'm prepared to the song. I'm coming to where we are going today, and I am afraid that I will not be able to finish. But I, but I will bring you somewhere that I want to. I want us to go. Genesis nine, verse one to three. The Bible says, and God blessed Noah and his sons and say to them be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth the fear of you and the terror of you will be will be on every beast of the earth and on every bird of the sky with everything that creeps on the ground 
and all the fish of the sea into your hand they are given. Every moving thing that is alive shall be food for you. And I give you all, I give you, I give all to you as I gave them, as I gave them the great plan. So in chapter 9 of Genesis, God is uh, increasing the food for mankind. In, the, in, the, in Genesis 1, he gave only the green plants. In Genesis chapter 9, Ameongeza na wanyama. Wale hapa wana, wanatembea. Mungu akawapa. Kwa mba watakuwa na chakula, watakuwa ni chakula, uh, chakula chene. But I like what he says in verse 2. That the fear of you and the terror of you Yani mbofu yenu na pofu, alisema pofu na nini? I do is what a very interesting, a uh, very interesting word. Nasema, nipo munga akambariki no, na wanawe, akawambia, zae mkaungezeke kwa idadi ya wote, uh, 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 kwa idadi na mkaijaza tena dunia. Wanyama wote wa dunia, ndege wote wa angale, kila kiumbe, Ita, ita maacho, juu ya ardhi na samaki wote wa baharini wale kabiliwa ni koloni mwenu. Nao, wata waogopa na kwa hofu. Wata waogopa na kwa hofu. Hata samaki wa majini. Ndeni wa angani, wata waona, wata waogopa. Wata waogopa, kwa sababu, wata waogopa mwanadamu, kwa sababu mwenye. Monadamu amepewa authority, amepewa mamlaka ya kutawala. Every man time, or when God is re-ratifying the mandate to uh, the man called Noah after the flood, God tells him, now I'm giving you also the animals to eat. And then, your terror and your fear will be upon the animals. Dio sababu, mwanadamu wanaeza kogo kwa nisima. Sisima ni ukali sana. Na niyo utawala wa jambo. Lakini, mwanadamu, yeye sima hata mwagopa. Na mwanadamu anajua, sisima sipo. Nani anatawala, sisima anatawala hapa sisi niyo tunawala sima. Sisi niyo tunatawala sima. God has given us the ability in our minds. A capability to make things happen. Tunaweza hata kufuga simba hapa. Hapa, hapa, hapa nini? Hapa lagata kuna simba. Siko. And we are able to tame them. And to make them. Unaweza kuenda pale kwa hile kwa hiyo. Nairobi World. Kuna orphanage na kuna the next one. Kuna National Park. Nairobi National Park. Na kuna ofane. Kwa ofane, tunaweza kupata all kinds of wanyama. Zile ziko, zile ziko pale. Zingine ziko temu, zingine, uh, zingine zime, okay, they are, they are being, they are being tamed. Ama zimewe kwa pale, ziweze kurudishwa. Ziweze kurudishwa tena uh, katika uh, mbuga ya wanyama. But the fear, the Bible says, you will fear. The animals will fear you. And I must say that even those who do not have the Lord will fear you. When you have the glory, when you have the power inside of you, when you have the, uh, the Lord inside of you, atawale abao awajatua kristo watakogoba. And this fear is not limited only to the things of the earth, the things of carnality. But ata mapepo watawagopa. Aleluya. Mimi uwa na shangana. Mimi uwa na shangana na mapepo. Ya unajua una mapepo ikishika mtu. Mimi uwa na hati ya tuwe weenda. Na anaenda. Anaundoka kabisa mimi yata simuwe. Mina ona hui muta mepakao. Na hati ya mapepo, mapepo toka. Mapepo ikaku. That is the power. That is the kind of power that God has given us. Aleluya to dominate, to rule over everything. I will go through some, some verses and then I will come closer to what I wanted to say. But I think I will finish next week. Genesis chapter two, chapter 17, verse 6 and 7. Genesis 17, for those who are writing, verse 6 and 7, the Bible says, I will make you exceedingly fruitful and I will make nations of you 
and kings will come forth from you. This is Abraham. I will establish my covenant between me and you and your descendants after you throughout their generation for an everlasting covenant to be God to you and to your descendants. God is making a promise to Abraham and is telling Abraham that those that will come through you or those that will come uh, your generations, I will make a covenant with you and with your generation. I will make a covenant between me, God, and you and your generations. Hallelujah. I'm making a covenant between me, God. God is making a covenant between Abraham and between the sons of Abraham. All, all of them. God. That I say, my brother, from you will come kings, rulers. Hallelujah. Amen. Rulers will come from you. People that will rule, people that will subdue the world will come from you. He's making that promise. Abraham, I am total. Abraham, Adam, total. I give Hallelujah. I need to I need somebody to believe this word. That those that will come from you, your generations are going to be kings. Amen. Your generations are going to be rulers. Amen. You need to bless them so that they become rulers in whatever the whatever place they go. That God will make them rulers. They are not going to be the tail, they are going to be the heads. Hallelujah. I refuse to be a tail. I refuse to be a You keep it like a dog. Maybe like a dog who I'm here. Like a dog who I'm here. I want to be a ruler because my God is a ruler. Amen. The king is a ruler. And my king is a ruler. I am a son of the king. And I will rule with the son of the Amen. king. As a son of the king. Hallelujah. Amen. We are called to rule. Mungu anakumbusha Abrahamu. Wewe bado ujasa. Lakini nimesha kupatia. Nimesha kupatia u. If you understand me, you should have said Amen. But in Genesis chapter 18, verse 17 to 19, the Bible says, Genesis 18, I need you to be writing down and please be coming with your notebook and with your Bible so that you can read together with me. Genesis 18, 17 to 19, the Bible says, The Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham what I am about to do? Since Abraham will surely become a great and mighty nation, and in him all the nations of the earth will be blessed. Will I hide to Abraham what I'm about to do? Mungu ni anajuliza, anauliza kwamba, na mimi nita nitafiti Abraham kweli, kile na macho ni kukaribu kufanya. Na nasema kwamba lo, and then he says in verse, verse 19 that is, for I have chosen him so that he may command his children and his household after him to keep the way of the Lord by doing righteousness and justice so that the Lord may bring upon Abraham what he has spoken about him. Mungu anauliza, mimi ni taufitia Abraham kweli. Mungu yari nataka kutenda, nasema kwa mbapala, si taufitia. Si taufitia. Kwa sababu gani? Uyu Abraham atakuwa great. He's going to be great. This Abraham, his children are going to be great. He's going to be a mighty nation. And in him, I know this Abraham, that in him, in him, all the nations of the earth will be blessed. Because there is a blessing that God has put in you. Because you are going to be a channel of blessings to the people of God. Because God has made you an agent of change, God will not hide the things that He wants to do. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. God will not hide the things that He wants to do. Because He will walk. According to Kito Abayo Mungu Ufija, when God wants to do something, I've, I've told you many times that God will speak it. God will tell it to men. Men that understand His will. Men that understand where He's going. Men that understand why they are on this earth. Men that understand the reason for their being. Hallelujah. Amen. Will I hide 
this thing that I want to do to Abraham, no, I will not hide it. Because I know that Abraham will command his children to walk after righteousness. Hallelujah! For some of the people who are in the world, he understands my will, he understands my mind, he understands my spirit, he understands the direction that we are going, he understands what it means to rule. I will not hide anything from him. So he tells Abraham, Abraham. I'm planning to do this and this. And then Abraham, because he's also a son, he's a legitimate son. And I will say, Mungu, Mungu, Abana, or the answer to you. Or the answer to you, or the Mungu. Say, Ma, Mungu, the father of 50. But I'm telling you, Mungu, and the father of 50, so don't make And I will say, 10, or the father. And I will say, Mara, Mara, you know, or the father. But God decided to save Lot, Abraham's nephew. On what purpose? Or for what reason? Because you remember that message that Lot is connected to the, to the covenant that God gave to Abraham. Hallelujah. Amen. If you get in him, in Abraham, the sons of the kingdom, the sons of the earth are going to be blessed. So I may not hide anything from him. And that way Lord was blessed. Lord was saved. Are we together? Amen. To go pamoja. Kuna watu mungu ame tumukia vitu ndani yao. Wamebeba baraka za wengine. Upitia kwao kuna watu wanabarikiwa mungu awezi uhai, awezi kuficha Bible yale anataka kutenga. Hallelujah. We are scaling the heights. If you want to scale the heights, scale the heights. Hallelujah. We are scaling the heights. Let me go to another scripture. I, I'm saying um, um, I want this somewhere I want to go, but I want to pass through these scriptures. I don't know whether I'm going to get there. If I don't get there today, I will get there on Sunday. Next Sunday, I'm believing. I'm the one preaching. Genesis 31, verse 42, verse 40, uh, 42, 53. Genesis 31, 42, 53. If you are writing, Genesis 31, 42, 53. The Bible says, If the God of my father, the God of Abraham, and the fear of Isaac had not been for me, surely now you would have sent me away empty handed. God has seen my affliction and the toil of my hands. So he rendered judgment last night. The God of Abraham and the God of Nahor, the God of their father, judged between us. So Jacob swore by the fear of his father Isaac. Hallelujah. Jacob is coming from uh, Jacob is coming from his father, from his uh, uncle Laban. Mekahuko 20 years. He went running away from his from his uh, from his brother, Esau. And now he has been there for 20 years. I'm a pata muke. I'm a pakapata muke, a kapata mugene, a kapata mugene, a kapata wangapi, a kapata wangne. A kapata recho, a kapata lea, a kapata recho, a kapala pila, a kapata zilfa. What are the Zaha? Wakona watoto, the hobo sayo, akona watoto kumina, I'm a father cousin. Greatly, I'm a father cousin. 20 years, and it's now time to leave. They had agreed with Laban. Mama, this is going to be my wage. Give me your tanilipa. I don't know whether the speckle will go on a chukwe. I'm on a which one. But give me the the the, the speckle. I think. Zile amal zile kwa na madoado. Hizo za madondoa, wakati ya litaja tu kwa mba mimi, zile na mbosu za zaliwa za madondoa, mungu akafanya. Zizo vitu za sasa zikuwa, puzi madondoa. Mbombe madondoa. Ya hindi madondoa, madondoa, kila kitu ni madondoa. God will force blessing. Ya hindi mungu kiwa unatendea na hindi. Mungu anatengeneza mitaru za maraka, zinakuja kwa mba. Ya hindi. Do, do Jacob have, uh, have authority 
on how the gods will, whether they are going to look, they are going to look speckled or, or white. He does not have authority. God does it. But it, God waited for a decision. God waited for Jacob to say, Move your way, Laban. Laban, Baba, Yangu, Ankwe, Yangu, Ankwe, Joba, Mjoba, Joba, Yangu, Mimi, Mitakona, Chukua, Sele, Kama, Dwa, And God did it. Hallelujah. God did it. Yani, kuna, kuna mtu mungu anauliza, mungu anangotea usembe kitu. Benjamin, I may testify right away. Uh, hapa, akasema kwa mba, hey, hapa wanataka ku, hapa wanataka kukula wimu. Sasa mungu wakampatia vino. Kwa sababu alikuwa siyo siku kabisa alikataa kukula, kukula wimu. Na mungu wakampa vino. God is waiting for somebody to speak. If you are speaking, God will do it. Hallelujah. If you are speaking, as you speak it, as you believe it, as you wait on God for it, God will do it. Hallelujah. We have had another testimony of things that happened to, to Mama and to Jane. God is waiting for somebody to believe and to speak and to will follow it. There is no one that God releases or that God will put in the man to release that he will not follow to accomplish. Isaiah 55, verse, should be verse 7. He will follow it to do it. Okay, let me let me follow my let me follow this. Let me follow this. So Jacob and Asema, Jacob and Asema, and Abia Laban. Well, come as your mungu wa Abraham. Come as your mungu wa Abraham. Come as your mungu amen. Abraham. I'm a father. I'm a he judged between us. Wherever you get to come up, be a kid to judge them. That is clearly. I get to come up and come up and come up and get to come and stand there. But even in that night, when they are sleeping, the last night, God had come, had come to Laban. I come out there, Laban, who is there, who is there, who is there, who is there. God had spoken to Laban. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is God still speaking today? I am waiting for this God to speak to me. I am waiting for this God to give me instruction. I am waiting to believe in that which He said, because I know. When he says it, he will do it. Hallelujah. Yeah. God will do it. Amen. Come as your mungo. Come as your mungo. Come as your mungo. If God did not speak and tell me it is time, you must leave every other thing and get saved and walk with me. Come as your mungo. I don't think I'll be anywhere. But the Bible says the fear, if it was not the fear of my father Jacob, you could have sent me out. If it's not the God of Abraham, it's not the God of, of Nahor, if it's not the God of my fathers, where we will get to be like you Joshua chapter 9, verse 24. Joshua chapter 9, verse 24. The Bible says. So they answered Joshua and said, Because it was certainly told your servants that the Lord your God had commanded his, his servant Moses to give you all the land and to destroy all the inhabitants of the land before you. Therefore, we fear greatly for our lives because of you and have done this, this thing. Hallelujah. These are the Gibeonites. Wamesikia, wamesikia Joshua ameangusha Jericho. Wamesikia Joshua ameangusha ameangusha Ai. That God, that Joshua, God used him to destroy Jericho, and God used him to destroy Ai. Ama Ai. Wakaogoma, wakakimbia kwa Joshua, wakabeba, wakajifanya kwa mbali. Mbali, mbali zani. Wamba wamepolibeba mukati ambayo inetauka. Waka ata migu yao, iko wame ongeza vumbi, matambara ni wame va. Wakasema kwa mba tumetoka mbali lakini tumesikia mbali zemi. Kwa mba nini, 
You want to attend some? Be feared. Hallelujah. The fear of the Lord. If the fear of the Lord is, up, is upon you, people will also fear you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There are things that I want to fear you, and people will fear you. Amen. Because the fear of God is upon you. There's a glory. There's a glory that evil men are not able to take. Mm. Moses is coming from the, from the Mount of Sinai. He has been there 40, 40, 40 days and 40 nights, fasting and praying, calling on God, waiting on God. And he comes down after the 40, of, after the 40th day. They could not, they could not look at him because there was some glory. There was a glory that they could not, the children of Israel could not look at him. Hallelujah. He had to veil himself. And I don't have a veil here. He had to cover himself. He had to cover himself because of the glory. And what was the point of God? Hallelujah. 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 I'm waiting for that time. I'm waiting for that time. Hallelujah. I'm waiting for that time when the glory falls. When the glory falls, that nobody, no devil is able to, to, to stand you. Hallelujah. Amen. God will make it happen. God will make it happen. Joshua, wameingia, na watu wanakuja kusema, sisi tunanyekea mtu tawale. Tunanyekea mtu tawale. Tunanyekea mtu mtu tawale. Nini watu watari sana. Your God is so dangerous. We will be finished. <laughs> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Kuna mtu atakuwa katika kazi, uko kwa kazi uko kwa kampuni, mpaka boss ana boss anapoangalia hivi anasema ah huyu huyu ni kifuta. Hii ni imeisha. Hii kampuni imeisha. Yaani boss anapoangalia hivi anakuogopa. Anasema this is the guy who runs this company. Mimi ni boss ndio lakini this is the guy that runs that the company. You remember Joseph and, and Potiphar. You remember Joseph in the in the in the in the prison. Potiphar stopped. He stepped back. I said, "This guy is too good. This guy, I'm a good example. Now things are things are doing better than I. So Joseph, Potiphar stepped back. Joseph steps into into the control." Hallelujah. Amen. It is not about you. It's about the God inside. Amen. It's about the fear of God that is inside of you. God will make things happen. Amen. testimony Felix. Wakati alihubiri hapa siku nyingine, akasema kwamba walikuwa wanakuwa wana retreat watu. Yeye ameingia 3 months. Kuna watu wamekuwa hapo miaka. Yeye anaendelea na kazi, anamwambia kwamba mimi niko. Wakashangaa kwamba yeye alibaki na watu wale walikuwa walikwepo mbele yake walikuwa ni trench. The God of heaven will give us goodness. When God lifts us to a certain glory who will be able to do it. Time fails me. I'm not even done with the, with the verses. But Joshua chapter 10, verse 1 and 2. The Bible says, Joshua 10, 1 and 2. Write it down if you're writing. Now it came, to, now it came about when Adoni Zedek, king of Jerusalem, heard that Joshua had captured Ai and had utterly destroyed it just as he had done to Jericho and his king. So he had done to I and his king that the inhabitants of Gibeon had made peace and the inhabitants of Gibeon had made peace with Israel and were with, within their land that he feared greatly because Gibeon was a great city like one of the royal cities and became and because of it was greater than I and all his men were mighty. Yani, Uyul Adonisele amesikia kile Yoshua alifanya. Yeah, take care of her. Kile Adonisele ado, uh, Yoshua alifanya. Akasema kwamba, kama 
city kubwa town kubwa nilimeangushwa kama town kubwa nilimeangushwa ai was greater akasema bana hapa kutakuwa na shida he fear wa israelites bigger than adoni said they and is a and is a picture no they were they were small but when you are with god you are the majority and you are telling your neighbor when you are with god when you are with god you are the majority yet when god is on your side you are a majority unaweza mm-hmm. kama unatembea peke yako tu lakini una majority utaenda ukutane na watu wa je ninyi mpike pike ni magoti wote na wako na biduki wanapiga magoti kabisa unaanyanganya biduki zote enda leo unawashika unapeleka polisi those things will happen amen okay let me let me go to the next and no this is too many we will get there next week but where am i going so that we understand where we are going and i will get there next week we are going to the place of glory we are going to glory when god talk about glory glory what is god talking about what does it mean to glorify god what does it mean to walk in the glory i will answer that question next time But because of time uh, allow me to allow me to stop it here but i want to tell you that you are a ruler that you are made you are mandated to rule you are mandated to to rule when you are ruling or when god lifts you to a glory which we will come to when god lifts you to a certain glory you have the power to rule Mungu anakupatia uwezo wa kutawala. Haleluya. When he lifts you to a certain to a certain glory. Haleluya. Haleluya. Uh, we have to just stop it there. We want to do a prayers and serve the Holy Communion as the Lord will guide us. You are in this house. You are not saved. When this house you need the Lord you are not saved I want you to if you are ready to be saved if you are ready to take Jesus as Lord and Savior of your life then it is your time uh, to receive Jesus in your heart Hallelujah